Hi, welcome to Seraphim's Keep and my name is Shannon and I'm a professional psychic and I'm based out of here at Albany but I also have a location out on the west coast and this is my insight for the month of August. Uh, for those of you that are new to this mailing list, um, every month I pull two cards from my deck which is called the Words to the Wise Oracle and I pull one card for our spiritual plane which is our higher purpose and what we ultimately want to achieve and then for our physical plane which is the world that we probably live in um, as far as our personality goes and what we feel like we have control over. And I read these two cards together for the upcoming month. Um, I did want to mention really quickly here, we do have events at Seraphim's Keep and on August 3rd, Adam Bernstein will be here, who's a wonderful medium. Um, so please check him out on this insight and on the website. So the cards for this month uh, on the spiritual plane is a card called Sunflower. Now, Sunflower is a card that talks to us about us feeling the need to be positive, feeling the need to carry others, feeling the need to uh, say, yes, I want to, when you really don't want to. Uh, and, and it really talks about the life of a sunflower is quite short, and it's very easy to get burnt out when you do those sorts of things, and they're out of balance to your own personal integrity. The card on the physical plane is integration. Now, integration talks about us having things in common with most people if we get down to the very fundamentals of it. So what this is talking about is for the month of August. It's talking about there's going to be situations coming up in your life where you really want to say no, but because they're their family, because they're their friends, because you feel obligated, because you don't want to look like a bad person, you say yes. And when you say yes, it's going to be to your own detriment. In other words, you're not going to get the rest that you want. You're not going to get and do something else that you want. Um, you're going to give money that you needed. Uh, and it really warns that it is going to be something that's going to throw you completely out of balance. Now, with the card of integration, it shows that sometimes we do these things in an effort to be connected to people. Sometimes we do these things because we feel like that's going to make us, them identify with us. It's going to make us friends. It's going to make them trust us. It's going to make them feel like we're good people. And what this is suggesting is these aren't the things that people look to that help them identify with you. These aren't the things people look to that tell them that they can trust you, that you're, that you're relatable. The things that they look to are, are the things in your life like your integrity, the things in your life about your honesty, the things in your life about where you stand and how much you stand up for yourself. I feel what these people would identify you with more is if they asked you to do something. And most of the time, you know, when we ask somebody to do something, we know if it's good for them or not. And we know when they say yes, we kind of have a sense of whether they're doing it just because they want to please us and, and they would rather do something else. That doesn't go unnoticed. They may not choose to um, acknowledge it, you know, because their own greed to have your energy is more important. But they do notice it. And I feel like everybody tends to respect people that respect themselves. It gives us a sense of being protected. Because sometimes when you allow people to run over you, per se, or take advantage of you, you are empowering the aspect of their personality that is negative, not only to you, but also to them. It's really important that you learn to say no. It's really important to say, hey, I'd love to, but right now I need to do this because this is you know, what I need to do right now, but I'll support you in prayers, I'll support you next time, but for right now, I need to do this. And the more they carry on and get emotional, the more you need to stick to your guns and not be manipulated. Because this is a month of really recognizing my true power and where I stand is what they will relate to more than me being perhaps being codependent or passive aggressive and going along with it and having this underlying irk going on because you really don't want to be there. And they can't identify with that, and they don't want to identify with that. So sometimes saying no is the new yes. You know, by saying no, you are empowering yourself, but you're also empowering them. And this is a really important lesson, and it's something that we all learn every day in our, in our everything that we do. So I think when something happens this month and somebody says, hey, will you do something for me? Can you loan me this? Can you do that? You need to really ask yourself, is this in my best integrity? Is this in my best good? And also, is it best for them that I say yes? And if you get a no, then just, you know, say no. 
And as I said, if they emotionally have a tantrum, that's manipulation. If anybody adds emotion to the response to try and force you to do something, yes, it's guilt, but it's also them manipulating you. And they're manipulating you because they feel that you are weak enough to give in to it. So this is an excellent month to start not giving in. And it's not about being mean, it's not about being cold. You know, I find using humor a lot of the time um, to, to block that sort of activity is the way to go around it. But this is a month to take back your power. Uh, if you really care about people, you need to learn to say no and set boundaries. Um, in some situations, it might be about not saying no forever, just saying no for now. Those of you that have been in sales, you were always taught that it's not no forever, it's no for now. And that sometimes applies to many areas in life. So August is going to be a bit of a tough month for those of us that, um, and I say us, that come from maybe a codependent background and we like to say yes because we want to be accepted. Um, but you need to be really true to yourself because the true you are to yourself, not only this month but going forward, the more you're going to give them to be inspired by, to be driven by, because that's what you want for them as well. You know, you want them to learn to stand in their power and say, no, and they're only going to learn it if you do it first. So have a wonderful August. Um, enjoy the summer. And uh, I look forward to seeing you next month. Thanks.